Hey everybody, it is Friday. Hope you're having a nice day. Hope you're getting ready for a great weekend. We are traveling through Paul's letter to the Philippian church. It's sometimes called the letter of joy, the epistle of joy, even though Paul wrote it while he was sitting in a Roman prison. So today let's read Philippians 1, 27 and 28. We read this, whatever happens, conduct yourselves in a manner worthy of the gospel of Christ. Then, whether I come and see you or only hear about you in my absence, I will know that you stand firm in the one spirit, striving together as one for the faith of the gospel without being frightened in any way by those who oppose you. Let's think for a minute about that phrase, conduct yourself in a manner worthy of the gospel. The word in Greek that Paul uses here is politusthe, where we get our word politics or political. It means to conduct yourself as a citizen worthy of the gospel. To conduct yourself as a citizen. Now, Paul was a citizen of Rome, of the Roman Empire. And being a citizen in that day gave you certain privileges. Once when Paul was beaten after being arrested on phony charges, he said as they were about to administer the beating, is this how you treat a citizen of Rome? And the officials got worried because beating a Roman citizen without evidence was forbidden. Paul understood the rights and the responsibilities of being a citizen. But here he uses the word not to talk about his Roman citizenship. He's using it to talk about our citizenship in the kingdom of God. Something more important than any national citizenship. Something that's higher than our citizenship in an earthly nation or state. He asked Christians in Philippi, is your conduct appropriate and worthy of a citizen of the kingdom of God? When Janine and I have had the opportunity to travel overseas, I am aware that we represent the United States of America. And I don't want to add any negative stereotypes about Americans. But even more importantly, we, all of us, represent the kingdom of God, the church of Jesus Christ. We represent God's kingdom. Are we acting in a manner worthy of the gospel? I am proud to be an American, but my true highest loyalty is to the kingdom of God, which is a good thing because God is good all the time. Remember to join us for worship this Sunday, whether you're in person with our masks and our social distancing in our sanctuary, or whether you're watching us on YouTube or Facebook, our modern worships at 915, our traditional worships at 1115. We want to see you as part of our congregation this Sunday. Have a great weekend.